Well, a multi-agency operation led law enforcement agents to the islands to identify and locate victims of sex trafficking. And they were successful, sadly. Christy Tomashiro has details. Seven young sex trafficking victims were recovered on Oahu Friday. <laughs> FBI agents, the Honolulu Police Department, the Missing Child Center of Hawaii and other partners narrowed down on the search and located the children. It was all part of Operation Cross Country. To bring awareness to child sex trafficking, to identify victims of child sex trafficking, try to offer them some help and assistance while at the same time hold accountable the traffickers and the facilitators of sex trafficking. The FBI's operation located 84 minor sex trafficking victims and 37 actively missing children across the nation this month. The average age of the victims was 15, with the youngest just 11 years old. The unfortunate reality is that the longer the child is missing, uh, or unsupervised, the higher the chance that they will be victimized. The FBI says two traffickers in Hawaii were arrested. Nationwide, about 85 individuals were taken into custody on child sex trafficking offenses. Now Senator Maisie Hirono is calling for more to be done, citing a study showing two-thirds of these victims are Native Hawaiian. As the federal government goes after the sex traffickers, uh, and uh, seeks to protect these vulnerable populations. I said to Chris Ray, our FBI director, that we need to include Native Hawaiian women and girls in the population that needs to be protected. Here at home, police departments are adding to their toolbox when it comes to finding missing and endangered children. The Hawaii and Honolulu Police Departments recently received scent tracking dogs with the help of the Missing Child Center of Hawaii. The FBI says it will continue to arrest traffickers and identify victims. Anyone with information on missing or endangered children are asked to call the Missing Child Center. No child should be left to fend for themselves on the streets. They should be in school learning. They should be at home being nurtured. They deserve protection. They deserve a future. They deserve a childhood. Christy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.